Hello friends, welcome to data making. In this video, I'm going to install Oracle VirtualBox, which is a virtualization software uh, to create a virtual machine on your Windows machine. So I'm going to install that. Uh, so I'm using Windows uh, operating system, uh, Windows 11. Uh, let's get started. Uh, go to uh, google.com on your browser. Uh, type Oracle uh, VirtualBox download. So why I'm creating this virtual machine, uh, why I'm going to create a virtual machine, uh, I want to run my uh, case study projects on this virtual machine. So I want to have a, a Linux environment where I can install the Hadoop and Spark uh, frameworks and run my uh, product, project source code. So just download, uh, just go to this link, uh, download this Windows uh, host. It's going to download the uh, Oracle VirtualBox software. Click on this. So in, uh, if you go to the uh, if you go to the install folder, sorry, download folder, you will find this uh, Oracle VirtualBox. Just double click this folder, then it will prompt you uh, a message saying that. Do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device? Uh, click on yes, uh, click on yes. By default, it will be no enabled. Click on yes. And then say next. And it is going to install on this location. Uh, I'll go with the default location, whatever it is there. You can change if, uh, whatever you want. Uh, you can, I don't want to create a shortcut on my desktop. Only quick launch is enough. So I'll just uncheck this. If you want to have a shortcut on your desktop, you can have that as well and then say yes install so it is going to install the oracle virtual box which is which is a virtualization software on your uh, windows operating system so it will take a couple of seconds to install it just wait for it uh, then now we can launch it so installation is done you can launch this so this is the uh, Oracle virtual box uh, manager. Uh, using this, we can create a virtual machine uh, with the uh, order of the operating system, uh, guest operating system, you won't have it in that virtual machine. So we, in the future video, we are going to uh, set up Ubuntu operating system on this, create a virtual machine with the Ubuntu operating system installed on this virtual machine that we will be doing in the next two videos. Thank you so much, friends. If you have any queries, uh, suggestions, Please put it on the comment section of this video. I will help you out. Thank you.